So regarding the great debate between Matt Binder and Paul Elam, just watched it last night, and uh, it seems uh, they think that they've really got a, a really good point on us, or they think this is like a, a, is this a failing of our movement, that when he says, you know, yeah, there are issues that men and boys have, but you guys aren't doing that, you're just talking about it. Um, well, isn't that the first step? And in case you didn't notice, we are doing things about it and talking about it. Isn't that how you get problems solved? And, you know, I don't know why the pushback by the likes of Matt Binder and feminists, um, uh, who they say they care about equality and men and boys, will come join us. But uh, what a ridiculous criticism. Um, okay, yes, you do have issues, but you're going about, the, about it the wrong way. I mean, I've been in this movement for, for long enough that, yeah, we see a lot of men and women uh, who's, who have, we call them armchair activists. They will really sit back and watch what we do or what, how the world goes. And they'll criticize what we do or what goes on in the world and really not help any of us or actually do what they suggest. You know, we get a lot of men who say, well, don't, don't, don't go about it this way, go about it that way. Or um, we shouldn't be so vocal in this manner. Um, well, why don't you just do what you say to do and we'll do what we do. Um, let's work together. Um, but that's just stuff. Uh, Matt Binder, you got to be kidding me. That that's the best you got. Oh, jeez. You know, actually, if if you do um, think about it, I did notice that. I'm not sure what the details were, but you had mentioned some somebody who needed help, and you said that men's rights organizations weren't helping them. Uh, but then Dean Esme, uh, at the end of that uh, debate, did did ask you for uh, that person's information so that we can help them. We certainly try to help men and women in their individual cases, but we don't have the resources. I mean, I'll lay in on something, Mr. Matt Binder. Um, we get no government money. This is all donations from like-minded people. We don't have massive government grants or um, foundations that give us millions of dollars. We don't have that. Uh, if we did, we maybe could help. In, in some ways that like now helps. They have the Women's Legal Foundation and all these uh, groups that uh, help legally, uh, help women legally. We can't do that yet. We don't have that, the facilities or the money. Uh, so what we do is advocate for men and boys, you know, uh, women and girls equally, and um, that's what we do. We, we help when we can, okay? Uh, we certainly support uh, Organizations that do, fathers' rights groups, uh, there are uh, a few groups that are getting things done uh, in the trenches, and we're, we're doing it too. And also, uh, there was a criticism by David Futrell um, saying that we seem to be just picking on the female uh, journalists and leaving the male journalists alone. Well, this man is not going to um, just pick on the female, the so-called journalists that did a hatchet job on uh, the men's rights movement and um, our international co conference on men's issues. Um, seemed like uh, the majority of the jerks writing about us uh, were male, and I'll name them right now. Let me see, James Fell, Adam Serwer, Arthur Goldwag, Mark Poktak, Michael Laxer, and uh, peripherally uh, Michael Kimmel. Uh, pretty much uh, not the friend of men and boys, certainly not the friend of uh, the human rights movement because they, they're making light of uh, suicide, general mutilation, and fraud. Because that's what, that's what the issues were at our conference and all those so-called journalists made light of it, even ignored it. Yeah, yeah, we talk about suicide, male suicide, but that is suicide and that's a human rights um, issue. Um, so, no, I am not just picking on Jessica Roy. Um, these other horrible journalists, as they call themselves, I'll name, name them again. James Fell from Time Magazine, uh, Adam, Adam Serwer, Arthur Goldwag, Mark Potok, 
and Michael Laxer. Pretty much hor horrible um, pieces that they wrote on us. They, 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 they have no idea what they're talking about, but we're on you guys, you know. Yeah, we're going to get the patriarchy on you guys. Um, you know, any disingenuous uh, journalist uh, is, is fodder for our uh, pens. Okay, take care.